Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Horbiscus. I'm here to talk about GTA Online's brand new update, the business update. So let's get started. So uh, we've uh, seen three new cars added to GTA Online as well as story mode. They are the <clears throat> the Grady Turismo R, the Dinka Jester, the Albany Alpha, and the Buckingham Vesper, which is a brand new plane added to GTA Online. So I'm showing you guys here where to find them if you're online. If you're in story mode, it's going to be in your inventory, something uh, in your garage basically. So those are where to find them on GTA Online. So right now I popped into story mode because I can't afford them online. But uh, this is the uh, the Albany Alpha. It's a pretty like businessy type of vehicle. It's uh, it's, it's sleek. It's it's a little modern, I guess. Uh, it handles well and it drives pretty fast. So I wouldn't be buying this car personally, but you know it's a good go-to get-around car. Next, we have the uh, the the, uh, the Dink Adjuster, right? Yeah, that's what it's called. And this is like one of my top two favorite cars from this uh, DLC. It just looks amazing. It just everything about this car looks really sick. Um, I like the front headlights, the tires, just the overall body of it. It's really fast, and the handling's great on it too. So it's the second cheapest car, so I suggest buying this one if you don't have enough money to get the Grotti. Uh, and this is the Turismo. I'm making a comeback from GTA 4 or San Andreas, I don't remember, but this has to be my favorite car. Just hands down because of its, its design. It's such a like futuristic-ish type of car. Uh, it's really fast, the handling is really great, and when I get enough money, I'm definitely going to buy this car first. It just looks really similar to like a Lamborghini, so which is why I love this car. It's great. All right, so we've had. Anyways, those are the new horns had it added to GTA Online. I just didn't want to interrupt while I said it. We also have brand new uh, smoke tires. We have the purple and the green tire smoke. I'm going to show you guys right now. The purple looks like a midnight purplish type thing. Uh, it's not bright. It's, it's nice. It's toward the darker side, and it looks really sick. It looks kind of Halloweenish type. Uh, it looks great. And then uh, next we have the <clears throat> the green tire smoke, which uh, personally I don't. I'm not a huge fan of, but it's like very darkish. Like, like I said again, very Halloweeny, Halloweeny. But uh, yeah, that's it's it's not bad. Uh, also, we have a bunch of new clothes, very businessy type clothes, like something you'd see a uh, businessman wear, of obviously. But uh, we have these uh, pants that would match with the uh, the brand new suits we're going to uh, have. I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just like scrolling down, showing all the different colors. I'm not going to try getting into too much detail, but. <clears throat> Uh, I they did like a, it's very just classy, just they only did classy type things, which is suitable for an update like this. I it's understandable. So they got they got new suit jackets, they got new shirts. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down or up to them now. So yeah, these are some of the new ones. I like the colors that they have. They're pretty sweet. The plaid one I liked, so I was gonna buy that one. Uh, the shoes we had the smart shoes. We have these like. Something you'd wear with a suit, I guess. Uh, and there's a few of them. Uh, it's good because they didn't have that many in the category before. Uh, and then next we have the ties. Ties are usually worn with these dress shirts, so we got bow ties and stuff. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, not bad. So we have watches as well and the accessories. <clears throat> uh, the watches are nice. Uh, Edition. If you're not wearing a long sleeve shirt, that is. We also have brand, two new guns: the heavy pistol, which is like a Desert Eagle type of gun. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it was like around four thousand dollars, I believe. These are all the uh, upgrades for it. And this is uh, the special carbine. It's kind of similar to the G36C uh, from Call of Duty and real life, I guess. But uh, both of the both of the guns are relatively cheap. It's just that the uh, that the um, the upgrades are a little bit more expensive. So here, the, what the guns sound like. <clears throat> They're not bad. I like the carbine especially. And the heavy pistol is pretty, pretty good too. 
I uh, actually, you know, lock onto these random people. So I thought that was pretty funny. Next we have uh, brand new masks. Uh, we have the, we have a bunch of hockey masks and some other masks. These are pretty cool. I thought the one that I really liked. Uh, I think I'm gonna go over it to it pretty soon. It's it looks like is that this one? Yeah, it looks like the Forerunners from Halo 4, and I love Halo 4. So that was like the only one I bought. I don't really wear masks often. <clears throat> well, right here I'm wearing a mask. I thought it was pretty cool because the Valentine's Day update, but you have a bunch of new hats too. Uh, I wouldn't really wear the hats, but uh, that's it. There's nothing else here. And we have brand uh, two hair, two new haircuts for each gender. So I'm only gonna show the guys right now. But we have this uh, the light brown one and uh, whatever the short side and the uh, high select ones. They look very businessy, you know. Uh, we also have new actions. Uh, this is the air thrust. It's pretty funny. We also, yeah, I'm just showing it around. It's pretty cool. Uh, we also have the dock, which I believe they should have renamed the diddle because you know you're just diddling, diddling the hole. You know, this one's <laughs> this one's really funny. Uh, and the last one we have is the knuckle cracking, the knuckle crunch. It makes a pretty cool sound effect, but <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with the the dock for now because that's the funniest. And uh, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go over some of the 111 patch notes. So basically, there are also brand new uh, tattoos added to the tattoo parlors. Uh, new masks, new tire smokes. Um, what else? Uh, they fix issues where. Uh, Players are, not, are unable to claim vehicles after being destroyed in the impound lot. Fix, uh, fix an exploit where players were able to give their vehicles nitrous boosts. Uh, boosts. That was a big deal. And uh, a glitch where you can bring in single player cars to online. And that's pretty much it. There's, uh, I'll link the uh, entire patch notes list in the description. But uh, make sure you guys check out the, uh, the business event this weekend. Excuse me. Uh, it's from March 7th to March 9th. You're going to get bonus RP rewards in all land races, bonus GTA payouts in all air races, including brand new races from the business update. So basically, <clears throat> it's going to be a good incentive to start playing again if you have stopped playing again. Uh, they're also having that Snapmatic contest again, how they did with uh, the Valentine's Day Massacre one. So that's going to be pretty cool. If you want to win a million GTA dollars, just post your pictures on Twitter, I'm not sure, I think it was Twitter and then online on their website. So make sure you guys check that out. They're also having their live streams uh, on 4pm on Friday, which is today. It'll, by the time this video comes out, it'll be past 4. But it's going to be on throughout the weekend. It's going to be on Twitch and YouTube. <clears throat> There's also going to be bonus crate drops dro dropping up to 5 times as often all weekend in the Los Santos Financial District filled with RPGs, miniguns, sticky bombs, and huge RP bonuses. So you guys check out for that. Um, <clears throat> I suggest you guys do the the races, so uh, the air races. So when uh, all the new cars or things you bought, you can just you know pay them off. Uh, I couldn't show the the jet. The uh, what was it called again? It was the Buckingham Best. Right. I couldn't show that off because uh, I didn't have enough money and I couldn't find it anywhere in story mode. But I'm pretty sure it's there. I'm just too stupid to find it or too lazy. I think it's lazy. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. It'd be really great. Share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about the update. Was this a good update? Are you upset that this wasn't the 1.11 heist you were hoping for? You know, after 11 updates, you know, they haven't put in heist. Heist, sorry. So uh, I, I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments. And maybe there will be definitely more videos in the come, to come in the future. So hope you guys enjoy. Peace out. This is Arbiscus signing off.